is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. So Nabi Isa alayhi salam will come down in Masjid of Damascus and Imam al-Mahdi will be in the Masjid. In fact, there is another hadith that the, be the believers were preparing to perform Salat and their Imam is of course Imam al-Mahdi. And at that time, Nabi Isa salam will come down. And we have a more accurate description of him that the Vatican could ever give. We have it. The clothes he'll be wearing, the color of the clothes, the hair on his head, how it would appear to be wet with driplets of water falling when in fact it is not wet. This minute description we have, what are we doing with it? Apart from eating roti chanai and drinking tetarik. What are we doing with this knowledge? Huh? What are we doing with this knowledge? It is an embarrassment, really. It is an embarrassment that we have this wealth of knowledge that we should be using to invite mankind to Islam. But no, we prefer to get a degree in, in London in Oxford, in Cambridge, in the Sorbonne, in Harvard and in Yale, and in MIT in Boston. Who wants to study Islam? Who wants to study Quran and Hadith? Who wants to preach Islam? No, it's more profitable to do a degree in business management. <laughs> Yes, that's the pity of the state in which we are. The best of our sons and daughters go abroad. And those who cannot find a place abroad, state or the best universities at home. And those who don't have anywhere else to go, they go and study Islam. I don't know if this is true of Brunei, but I know that this is certainly true of Pakistan. Oh yeah, and many other parts of the world of Islam. So we have this description of what is to occur at that time. When Nabi Isa alayhi salam comes down, Imam al-Mahdi would see him and recognize him and would announce this is the son of Maryam alayhi salam. This is Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And so positive identification is repeated. Ibn Khaloon didn't think about that. Dr. Muhammad Iqbal did not think about that. We do not disrespect these great scholars, not at all. We show profound respect for men of great scholarship. But if Imran Hussein makes a mistake, shame on you if you do not correct me. Shame on you if you do not correct me. Yes. And if you correct me when I make a mistake, I pray that Allah may bless you. You do no disrespect to me. No. If I make a mistake. And so similarly, if Ibn Khaldun has made a mistake, and if Dr. Muhammad Iqbal has made a mistake, in fact, a mountain of a mistake, and we correct them, and we do it respectfully. Yes, we do nothing wrong. 
Nabi Isa alayhi salam is invited. You lead the salat. He declines. <laughs> you are the imam, you lead the salat. And so the imam leads the salat. And Nabi Isa alayhi salam performs salat in accordance with the sharia which came down to Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam.